Hey guys, Karen and Kevin are off their heads again. Karen's such a racist that even her husband's ashamed of her. Kevin eats his food and then he tries to send it back. Racist Karen believes that black people should not be swimming in the pool. Shut your mouth, Kevin and Karen, and listen to some sense. Oh, wait, you're you're right. Right. You're you're back. Karen's racist comments are so bad that even her husband is calling her out. Shame on you, Karen. <laughs> you don't know him. You don't know her. You get in the car. Get in the car, Aaron. Get in the car, Aaron. You do not know him. You do not know her. You don't know anybody around here. You are not special. Get your stupid ass in the car. No, he is not. Oh, what? Really? Because he's driving a f right. you and <laughs> you said crazy. Whoa, wait, 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 did you cross check that s <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm sorry y'all. Hey, did y'all see that big road? She can handle No, she can handle a guy thing, man. Aaron, get in the car. <laughs> you drug dealer, man. <laughs> Selfish Karen has got her legs on top of the grill on the train. That's not ladylike, is it, Karen? You were actually harassing me. You were touching me without my consent. Sorry. Do you realize that? I'm sorry, sweetheart. And this is up until I decided to sit here. Your feet were in your space. Please, thank you. Well, I think you should stop the train for her. You, you decided to move your feet and touch me. Get your feet off of me. How f***ing dare you? You're 75? You should be f***ing ashamed of yourself. You were acting like a child. Who's the child? You. You're the child. These are empty seats. There's plenty of space. You did not decide to do this until I sat here. You were the one causing the issue. You decided that you were all high and mighty. You got to sit in your high pedestal. And when I decided to come sit here, you decided to cause the problem. And you were still touching me. No, I'm not going to move because this is ridiculous. You are the one who was harassing me. You were touching me without my consent. You're touching me. Get the f off of me. You're getting your f***ing shoes off! Stop it! Fine. No, no, wait. How about that? What's the issue? Your feet are still right there. But my feet here, they're in my space. You're taking up the entire area. This does not belong to you. That seat you paid for does. Not right here. This is where I paid for so I can sit. We're done. You're fine. Enjoy the ride. Thank you. You too. Kevin's complaining about the food in the restaurant. If it was so bad, then why did you eat it, Kevin? That's called stealing. Yeah, yes, sir. I don't know that. Well, you ate the whole entire thing. You can show that camera, too. No, I didn't eat. It's meat still on that chicken, man. But there's nothing like... It's meat still on that chicken, man. But this whole entire plate has been eaten, sir. So you can't take that off my bill? No, not unless you would have gotten us at the very beginning and said that you didn't like your meal. I could have replaced it for you. So but I got so I gotta pay for that. Yeah, you ate the whole entire thing, sir. There's not even like I got so she telling me I gotta pay for that? I mean, let me ask the audience. <laughs> This girl has paid her rent, but her roommate doesn't want her to stay. Let's see what happens next. Excuse me? It's not normal to ask to put a lock and key on the door. There's a lock on the bathroom. I'm not moving up tomorrow. I paid my rent. I am here until May 1st. No, you're not. I don't yes, I am. Yet. You can't kick me out. Okay, well, you're not. That is literally yet. against the law. This is my apartment. No, it is my apartment, too. I paid to be here. You are not allowed to have anyone spend the night. No. I don't want to deal with COVID. I don't want to deal with any more of this. It's already bad with just you right now. If you're hating it here, well, you know what? I don't hate it here. You make it uncomfortable to live here. It doesn't here. matter. It doesn't matter. It does matter. You're it does it. matter. You said you're moving out May 1st. That's great. Okay. I, I'm not going to, I am not going to bend over backwards for anyone that I'm not giving respectful energy. Okay. 
I have been very respectful to you. Yes, I have. I have been so respectful here. Everything you do, I ask. I take the trash out. I clean up after myself. I'm quiet. I know you're working. I try to stay out of your way. When you need to get in the bathroom, I leave so you can get into the bathroom. I'm quiet when I come home and go. I don't ask anything of you. I don't take up your time. I don't even text you because you don't like texting. I give you your space. I stay out of your way. I'm an incredibly respectful roommate. And it, I don't affect you. Why would you destroy it? I said, I didn't. I didn't destroy anything. You and then you went, you had the audacity to say there's water damage. There was no water damage. And then when I asked you to send me a picture, you wouldn't. And you were blowing up my phone. I you were asking me how I was trying to work. Video, okay? I didn't get a video from you. I didn't get anything in my I email from you. Off. And there's no water damage because I can see it. It's um, exactly as I left it. Okay, you know what? Have great next month. Let me know the date you're moving out because I'm going to change locks. And you're not having guests over at all. I don't want anyone in my right now because this right now is too much for me to absorb i even bought you sheets have you ever washed your sheets I yes i've washed the sheets okay. so i i can't you're not having anyone over yes okay? i am it's a liability for you me. did not say that before i moved in yes i did no you did not I you did. are lying take a f xanax and chill the hell out i don't take pills and you're not gonna have yet Kevin Creep is sneaking into a woman's dressing room and you were trying to get into the lit into the dressing room you have nothing in your hands and you're trying to get into the dressing rooms. Hey, yo, D, come over to the fitting room. Hey, mother, she's quick. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You're trying to get into the fitting rooms with nothing in your hands. I mean, what? It was somebody was in the... In He's, the he, was jiggling, he was jiggling the handles to see if he could get into the... Into the I'm sorry, I'm worked up. I'm shaking because of what I just witnessed. Uh -huh. This man was jiggling the handles of the fitting rooms to see if he could get in them with nothing in his hands. He wanted to, he wanted to see if he could find a lady on dressing. Why else would he be going in the fitting rooms with nothing in his hands? Jiggling the handles. Jiggling the handles of the Clearly fitting rooms. Not I'm so sorry, I'm shaking. No, 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 no. Well, I just you know realized what, what he was doing. I, I realized he was jiggling the handles and at first I thought maybe he was trying something on and then I realized he has nothing in his hands. No, did, he, did he get in the room with you? No, he did not. Okay. He was what trying was to. No, I wasn't. I was, I was in the fitting room prior, trying some things on, put some things back, came back to try this on. He was jiggling the handles. This man is trying to get into the fitting rooms with, I'm so sorry, I'm shaking. This guy has just bought a car, but then he realizes the car's not right. The salesman, on the other hand, is acting like there's nothing wrong with it. And so I'm, I'm literally so offended that, that you would think, hey, clearly you must be lying because anyone would know that. It tells me to do something, I do it. It didn't say there was a problem. It didn't say you, you need to take your car in for service. It wasn't a service light, it's, it's an add, add a quart of oil light. I, I did so. Sure. But cars don't run, run out of oil like that. Well, how the heck did I know that? You call us and we tell you. Or I do what the car says, right? And then when it comes on again, it doesn't make sense to keep putting oil on the car. That's not a thing that you do with cars. How would I know that? It's the first time I've had an Audi, it's the first time I've had that car. You need to have an oil change every 10,000 miles if you're going to have to add a quart every two. Again, how would I know that? You just look at the repair manual. It would tell you if you need to add oil. <laughs> okay. You're, you're not getting what I'm saying. And, 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 you, and you're, you're making it sound like, oh, well, this is your fault. You should have known. What you're saying is, I'm telling you, it's offensive to me. I'm not meaning to offend you. You put six months worth of miles on a vehicle in two months, in 45 days. Okay, I'm a sales rep. That's what I drive. Right? But that problem, I'm telling you, has been going on since week one. And you should have I did not know. It's How would I know that's not a normal thing? I don't know how to say that other than it's not a normal thing. Okay, you get that. You're around cars all the time. I'm not around cars. Look it up on Google, maybe, and say, hey, are, you, are you serious? I'm, I'm just giving you ideas. I mean, it's what I would have done if I had that. Okay, I'm not you, right? I've got stuff to do. I've got a living to make. So I come in here to buy a car so, because my living depends on me having a vehicle. And, and now what I'm figuring out is that I bought a vehicle with a problem pre-existing. This is a major problem. And it was sold to me like that. If your car says add windshield washer fluid and you add windshield washer fluid and the light goes off, because you're consuming windshield wiper fluid on purpose, you know when you hit a button that windshield wiper fluid comes out and it lowers the amount. How would I know I'm not consuming oil? Burn oil. How would I know that? Literally, how would I know that? Just common knowledge. It's just, I mean, so it's just all. common sense. That's just common knowledge. Well, it's common knowledge. Anyone should know that. Anyone should know that's what you're telling me. Yes.
Anyone that owns a vehicle should know that. Yes. Is what you're saying. Uh, yes. So my mom would know that. Your mom would. Anyone that owns a vehicle would know that. The vehicles don't consume oil. And you don't have to consume oil to add oil every two thousand miles, thousand miles. Yes. Karen thinks she can say whatever she wants, but then she uses the N word. Sorry, Karen, you're out of order. showdown between a customer and an employee. So whose side are you on? Tell us in the comments below. Oh, this is Quentin at the Dollar General in Pflugerville. What did you say, Quentin? You called me a she, her? I don't know what. <laughs> and you said to get the out because your system. I don't know what you said, man. Go on, go on somewhere. Oh, no, what'd you call me? Please, Quentin, please feel free to tell me what you called me. We can play this game all day. Oh, what game? Where you're being transphobic and offensive because your system's not working and I asked if we could use another register and you said this get the here is giving me a hard time here at Dollar General. All right, sir. Doesn't want to leave because their card is declined because my of card did not decline. It did not say insufficient funds. What did it say, ma'am? Did my card say insufficient funds, or did it say that your system's not working? No, I'm serious because this isn't uh, cool. Is it okay if I check out here? Anyway, this is not. It did not say insufficient funds, sir. What did it say? It said no checking account. What does that mean? It did not say insufficient funds. We're going back to your transphobia. What did you say to me, sir? You giving me a hard time here before at this place. What did you say to me? Keep filming, cause it's gonna be on here. You cussed at me, you said you. You're gonna lose your job, sir. Have a good one. Paranoid Karen doesn't want her best friends to be friends with her boyfriend. Wait, say that again. My boyfriend went on your Instagram and called you pretty. So like, I really don't want you to be in my life anymore. Because he called me pretty. And you're not that pretty, to be honest. You just sound um. insecure. So you don't want to be friends because your boyfriend thinks I'm pretty? Yeah. But you would be friends if he, if he thought I was ugly? Yeah. Well, what does that say about you? You're a terrible friend. And you're ugly and fat. <laughs> what? Do you hear yourself? You try to sing, but it sounds horrible. You're horrible at singing, too. That's why your boyfriend slid into my DMs. Racist Karen believes that black people should not be swimming in the pool. Sorry, Karen, you're on your own. It's under my brother, my brother-in-law's name. So what we unfortunately we have some rules, and the resident who lives here has to be here. At He's the a pool. resident. He who I see. The little boy with the dress right there. Are y'all out here messing with us because it's a bunch of black kids? Are you no. being racist because it's a bunch of black kids? No, this has nothing to do with that. That's We're what I feel like it is. Check. I feel like it's because it's a bunch of black kids out here. No. What? I got it here. Yeah, and it says two guests. Are you a resident? No. What are you? Supervisor. You're a supervisor of what? I can help you. Um, who's the who's the adult resident? Bryson. Bryson. Is he home? Uh, he's at work right now. Okay. So what we need to have. But this he also lives here. Okay. So what we need to have is the leaseholder here. Uh huh. And then you're only allowed to bring two people with at the same time. Those are okay. Our so rooms. he lives in a different apartment. He's my my son's friend. He has two guests, and then Bryson has two guests. Okay. So 
the gentleman who's in the pool, is he a leaseholder? Well, I'm pretty for sure his mom is. Where where does the rule say a leaseholder say a resident? On here it says, let me put this up on here. I'm putting this on Facebook. This is crazy. Residents and their guests. But you said the leaseholder. This says residents. Gentleman that's in the pool, how old is he? And um, what apartment does he belong in? He's there? 10. Hey. Drunk Karen has a problem with noise. She doesn't like her neighbors laughing. So she goes to their door and tells them to be quiet. Hey guys. I'm not opening trying to open up your door, dude. Who is who? I'm just at your door. Okay, how can I help you? You guys are screaming so loud the whole neighborhood. 911. Uh, the cops are about to call and I don't want to do that. Give a we is at our house, lady. Don't you dare come to my house. Go on and get off. No, 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 no. I'm no, not no. Be that. No, no, no. What Go you ahead, doing please. over here? No, no, no. Don't touch my door. Sweetie, look at I me. don't care. You what is y'all doing over here? We is in our home that we own and my family is having a good time. What the know. hell are you doing at my door? You get your drunk ass away from my door. Yes, you. Hold on. Okay. I'm a criminal defense attorney. I don't give a who are you and you slurring like that? You ain't now not a criminal offense attorney. Do your job. Go ahead. What are y'all calling the police for? But why are you calling the police anyway? Why are you talking about the police? Because, because you're yucky by. It doesn't matter. We're not. Hold on. Hold on. No, Hold on. Have your eyes on the next block. Mario. Mario, don't worry about it. Mario. Hold on. 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 These Karens obsess over nothing at all. This one's throwing a tantrum about a three dollar coupon. Please. Can you please just calm down? Stop, Matt, please. Please. You know what? Please. You know I'm not going to disrespect me. Please. Nobody disrespect me. I can't hear her. And point of recording me. For what? Go ahead and record me. You came out. You don't even know what you're even talking about. You're this, right here. This lady's coming in. I'm trying to resolve. She's got an attitude. What are you trying to resolve that you are not here for? Can you please I'm just not going to have your employee recording me. I'm actually calling you. Can police. you please just call? No. You call the police. You want to have your employee record me? Because you're being a little bit. I was trying to resolve the situation and he just gave me an attitude straight off the bat, so. I don't even know who you are. Get out, boy. You know what? Miss. I don't care. I asked for a manager. Okay. And that's all I asked for. Miss, Get old old boy. Okay. I think you're old enough to be. I promise you. Walk away. When the cops come, if you really call the cops, please. I got it. I think you're old enough to call the cops. We like to call ourselves, too. We're both tired of you. Okay. okay? All right. I didn't give you an attitude, manager, so. It's a number. It's all I asked for. I'm okay. The manager is right here, bro. 15 years old. Okay. Okay, get out, boy. Over what? Receipt. I asked for the manager's number. It's all I asked for. I can't give you. 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 I can't it's me. It's actually my right. So I work here, so this is my right to record. Okay, I know, I know my right. Go back, please. I got a problem. Can no problem. Talk outside, please. No problem. Sorry, bro. We got a problem. I don't know what to say. Miss, I don't know what the problem is, but if it's over $3, this is a little bit ridiculous. It's nothing to do with $3. It's nothing to do with him. He wasn't even out here. I was trying to resolve the situation, but. Resolve what? What are you trying to resolve? You're the one talking to me crazy. I, I, I'm actually not even talking to you. Resolve. Coming out here the way you are. Okay. Coming out here the way you are. Talking me saying what? 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 Talking me saying Talking me, say, get out of here. I didn't even say that. Karen is harassing an employee who's trying to help her. Is there uh, anything wrong with the? Because I'm not allowed to touch the. Okay, we'll find out who's allowed to do what when the manager gets back here. And after I call home office on you too. I didn't do anything wrong. Man. Yes, you did. To... What did I do? You said you couldn't touch it. I'm not allowed to touch you, it. Well, you touch people's phones, don't you? No, I'm not allowed to touch those either. Well, us as Walmart employees aren't allowed to touch them. Those are the jobs of the phone reps, and the phone reps aren't necessarily. I, I, I don't want to hear no more from you, because you are—you don't know how to do customer service. Oh, okay, okay. How old are you? Fifteen, sixteen? No, man. Seventeen? I will be nineteen in May. Okay, you're too young to know how to do any type of customer service. Oh, okay. 
because you're keep telling me that I'm not the customer. So I wouldn't want to be told that no matter what age I am. Yeah, that's the reason I don't shop here no more. Did you already call a team lead down here? Yeah, I, I don't want a team lead. I want an assistant manager. I called. There's August right there. I called upper management. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to buy this um, charger for my watch, and he wanted to know whether that when I was I returning it. I said I'm not returning it. It was taped. That you no know, box was taped together, shut. And I said I was trying to get it open. I asked for some scissors or something to open with. That I ended up you know, having to rip it open to see what was it, see if it was at my watch. And then he said, "Are you sure this will fit your watch?" I said, "Yes, I tried it. Here's my watch. Here's the charger. You can try it yourself." He said, "I ain't about to do that." No, I said I'm not allowed to touch customers' um, items um, because us as Walmart employees aren't supposed to touch the items of customers. We're only supposed to. Right, right, right. But if uh, so, did you try it? Yeah. That you realized that you were just trying to log into your shopping account. You forget That's your password. Right now, I've never put one yeah. in. Very good. All right, no, awesome. It's a, it's a one -time yeah. pass code okay, total will be 1946. This woman has just noticed a man hitting on her underage kid. Things are about to get crazy. Then the end of it. It should have. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't and have even been anything. Me. It shouldn't have been, been anything. It shouldn't have been anything. Deal of things. Really? Yeah. I made a bigger deal. Drama. I made a bigger deal. I, I made a bigger away. deal. I walked away. It yeah. was over. Why did you walk away? Because you're. Talking to a 15 year old. She wasn't interested. How the f is a 15 year old gonna be interested in you? You're f 28. Listen, let's pack up. Let's go. You're f nasty. Let it go. I, I really don't understand what the problem is. I'm trying to get his license plate. That's all I'm trying to do. He's not letting me. Go ahead, pack your shit. Yeah. He he's already a Trying to threaten me with his fucking little yeah, head on. Yeah, that's the case. No, I'm, he's not gonna get away with it. He was trying to talk to a fucking 15 year old. No. Other uh, states, but you know, in this case, I mean, we have a lot here. We, we, we have your back, okay? You here to help me, so I, I know you, you probably out for something different right now because of the situation. Is it but not difficult enough for you. men to approach women okay. already? Would you approach a 15 year old? But. Karen's been involved in a car accident. Is she gonna take the blame this time? No, she's pointing the finger at other people. You going to you going to jail. nowhere, mother you jail today. You going to jail today. You can't even make me mad because I know you're going to jail. I know you're going to jail. I know kids, my kids grown. My kids grown. You going to jail beating them people, huh? So get ready, you blue eyed devil. You still hit them people and ran. Why the f Albertson? Why the f Albertson? You going to jail? You going to jail? I'm scary. You was running. You was running. Back up on my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get my face. Get out my face. She just caused the accident on 15th Street. She just caused the accident on 15th Street West by Kaiser and hit two elderly people and ran. You want to see the accident on video? I, I so, know, yeah. Just... <laughs> no, we wait for the sheriffs to come get her. I could, can y'all call them too? Because they not coming fast enough for me. Drunk Karen's been caught stealing makeup, so she's got to return everything. You know what the hell you doing. You ain't have no money to pay for what you took in there. That's why you did that move. I'm not no stupid person. Get your ass in that stove. Bop. Now put the shit back on that counter that you stole right now. Put it back on there. Nah, Christina. And I, I seen it. Put it back on the store and we won't call the police. Everything. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Not on my time. Don't say nothing. Walk away, Christina. Don't say nothing. You're a f***ing thief. You knew exactly what you was doing. And you should be ashamed of yourself. You ain't. You, you, you're ashamed because you got f***ing caught. I don't want to hear that shit. You coming in my store stealing. Put it down. All of it. I want it all. All of it. You got me f***ed up. And I want to see your driver's license so I know you cannot come back in this store. I want it all. Put it all on the counter. 
D. All this you stole. All this. All this you came up in this store and stole. I don't want to hear that sorry face because I ain't no sorry giving mother when you coming in there stealing hundreds of dollars worth of All of it. Where's your ID, man? Because you can't come back in the store. And I still might call the police on you. Matter of fact, get out the store. Go. You already on camera and you will be blasted for everyone to see. Don't come back in the store. Don't come back. Sitting up in here stealing. License place. This Karen's giving a restaurant employee a hard time. She thinks she's the victim until another customer steps up. Of course, Karen's insisting that she's innocent. Did have you? a great day. Well, see you later. This. Go ahead and send it to corporate. That's absolutely fine. That's your right. But I didn't do anything wrong. And I have witnesses in here who will stand by me. So now I will ask you to leave and I will call the police. I'm Choose your- I'm gonna back you up. Choose your deciding. Because I'm done. And You've I'm, been doing this to me And I'm backing you up right years. now. Do and I'm waiting for the police to show up. You're giving her a hard time. Because you're in the wrong spot. You can videotape them as well. These are my regulars and they're always here. So have a great night. Call the police. So if you don't leave within the next minute, the pop cops will be here. Uh, wait, wait. So I'm not walking okay. fast enough? As I walk out the door, you're going to You've call the police. You've been giving her a hard time for 20 minutes now. I've watched the whole scenario. Call the police on her. You're hassling her. That's why I'm recording, because I'm not you're hassling, hassling her. her. I'm not hassling yes, her. Yes, you are. And that's why I guess I'll put it up on YouTube today. Good, you put it up with 8 billion other people. Well, I recorded the whole Good thing. Good for you. Record everything. Uh, unfortunately, you have to, because everybody's a liar. Yeah, sure, right. Including you. I watched the whole thing, and I'll testify against you. Testif oh, that's now we're going to court. And I love how the hippies over here are shaking their head yes. Really? You feel good about seeing me talking to police and going to... No, but do you understand the sociolo sociological aspect of this? People calling the police because she just ripped me off uh, the coffee a little bit. And it's not the end of the world. And I said it a million times. She's the nicest person there is. Oh, well then it must be me. Yes, sir. It is you. I watched that whole scenario. Karen's picking on a guy with a disability. No, he's not FBI. Karen, what's wrong with you? Are you serious? Because I don't have to tell you anything. I'm not a police officer, but even if cops did have to disclose it, and because I've worked with law enforcement before, I can tell you this, they are not legally required to disclose anything to you. That's they a aren't. myth. No, nope. that's me. a myth. That's no, a fable. No, that's not true. If you've got a chip in your head and you think they're looking for you, that's on you. But you're clearly I don't think talking that, to the wrong but person. You're saying it. I don't care. You came no, over no, here. See, you're harassing I, me. I never said I'm that. I'm sitting but here you having my coffee. An awful lot of shit. Yeah, I'm sitting here having my coffee, and so you what's called wrong me. wrong with your back? Nothing's wrong with my back. What's wrong with your legs? My legs work fine. How else do you think I bicycle well, here? You're in a quadriplegic. Thing. This is called a recumbent bicycle, okay? Great. It's adaptive use, huh? <laughs> it's whatever the I want it to be. It's comfortable. I can go 10, 15 miles, and whenever I want a break, I sit here, I have my coffee, and I look at the beautiful view. And most of those times, I'm not bothered by some lunatic hanging around Camp Rich calling people by the wrong name when they pass by. I'm not. You, you said something about Rick? That's not my name? When I drove by earlier? I'm like, okay, you no don't problem. You know who Richard Tobin is? Who the f is Richard Tobin? Who the f are you? You don't know anybody named Chance? Who, I've known many people Did named Chance in my 40 here? years the on this FBI earth. The FBI sent me here because the guy worked at, uh, stayed at the hostel. The FBI said, hang on, just back up a little bit. We can no, have a I conversation. Have a but Would you like to see a picture of no, my no, son no, no, with no. a just, gun to his back of his head? Just take a couple feet back and so, we can have no, a conversation so if you'd like. No, I don't want to have a conversation with a car. Good, then go away with a car. I'm an Autobot. I better roll out. See you later, crazy Karen. No, it's not. I could call you whatever I want, and that's freedom of speech. If I said you committed a crime, that's slanderous and libel if it's either in verbal or print. But you don't obviously know what I'm talking about, so you should just go away. Go away. Go listen to the tinfoil hat chip in your head. I don't care what you have to say. I don't have a chip in my head. Well, if you keep you acting like this, you're going to have a lot less in your head. What? <laughs> I said if you keep acting like this, you're going to have a lot less in your head. They're going to take what you away for like? electroshock therapy. That's what they do to crazies. All right, well then leave people alone at the beach. Well, don't try to 5150 and I can't get any fucking, you're my conservator here? 
I don't know what the f you're talking about. Yeah, and you clearly, you, you clearly have 5150 experience. Ent? Are you Ent? Am I an Ent? Like a tree? Ent? Are you attorney Ent? No, I'm a guy on a bicycle enjoying his coffee watching the f beautiful lake over here. And I'd like to go back to it if you don't mind. 